place where the land may see There is a home so sweet, the house of an artist With something to show us, painting pictures of brush and pen Up on the paper in a book that's so beautiful It is a joy to read because the stories you find in this book of wonders Are some of the most amazing you will hear For the stories were inspired over the ages By God's Holy Spirit, which you guided your trances long ago John is the friar's name, and you will find with him three friends so special having fun all together. Renata, Leopold, and Tim, who want to share with you all the good stories that the friar John would tell. And if you like, you can join these for friends, and maybe stay for a while, and together we will play. Or perhaps you would like to join in the chorus, no need to worry if they sing a little out of tune. If you prefer to play with the smallest, come to a game. You can enter too. So come, we are waiting in this holy place. We're really sure that you want to hear the stories of Fry John. The house built on the rock. What do you have there, Timothy? Oh, nothing, Father John. Just something I found in the street. Oof. Oof. Really? And what is it? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Just a little something. Ooh. Do you need some help? What are you thinking about? Well, about how much I'd love to have a little car to drive. Do you want to buy one? No, I'm going to build one myself. Make one yourself? Won't that be too difficult? I'll do it little by little. Hello, Hello Father Father John. John. Hey, you two. Did you remember that today is Timothy's birthday? Really? Oh, no. Got oh, it. I didn't remember. Me neither. What are we going to do now? We must give him something. Yet we have to give him something. But what can we give him? I don't know. I'm making a little door for his house. Oh, that's really, really oh. good. But what can we give him? Yeah, what can we do? What about a car? Yes, a car is perfect. Yes, but where are we going to find a car? Hey, I saw a toy car lying in the street. Yay, good idea. Let's look yes, for come it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you going, Tim? I'm going to look for parts of my car. Goodbye, Tim. Take your time. Hmm. 
one like this. Hmm. Look, Father John, we found it! Look, Look at mm. that! Mm. This is perfect for Tim. Mm. But it has no wheels. Mm. But we'll have to make them. And paint it. That's right, we have to paint it. And mm. here are all the paint mm. pots. I want red. And green. Can I Beautiful. have red? Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. It will look like new. I'm going to use foggy green. <laughs> But it still has no wheels. Ask Tim if he has some wheels. He keeps lots of things okay, in his house. Oh, him. yes. But we must keep it a surprise. Okay. Yes, it must be a surprise. A surprise. Oh, it's Tim. Quick, <gasps> let's go. Let's hide the car. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Oh. Hi, Tim. How did it go? Badly. I couldn't find any parts of my car. Oh, that's too bad. Don't worry. Trust in God. Maybe he'll give you a car. I don't think so. Tim, um, I was wondering, have you got any wheels? Wheels? Uh, uh, well, you see, no, no, I don't have any wheels. I, I, I had to put some... Uh, no, I don't have any. No. Timothy, are you sure you don't have any wheels? Yes, I'm sure. Uh, I don't have any. Why not go and have a look? I'm sure you can find some. I'm telling you, I don't have any. Oh well, oh. we'll just have to look somewhere yeah. else. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. Timothy. Yes. I must tell you something. What is it? Something very serious. A person who won't listen to the word of God hmm? and do as he says will run into trouble. But I Are you sure? Yes, don't you think so? Well, I think that God wants you to be generous, open-hearted, and to tell the truth. But just for example, and it's only an example, I think that whatever people find belongs to them, and they shouldn't have to give it to anyone else, because God let them find it in the first place, right? Tim. The best thing is to let God guide you and to do his will, even if it's hard. That's always the best way. All right. But I don't have any wheels. Hmm. <sighs> oh, well. We can't find any wheels anywhere. It will have to be a car with no wheels. Some present. A car with no wheels. We just have to think of something else. Ask Tim if he has any wheels. I think he has but some. But he said he didn't have any. Ask yes. him again. All right, oh, okay. let's go Come ask on. him again. I want a car. Tim, oh, Tim, what do you want? Are you sure you don't have any wheels? Maybe you just didn't see them before. I've told you that I don't have any wheels. I don't have any, and I don't have anything to look for. Timothy. What? Come here. All right. I'm going to read you a parable about a man who wants to do things without obeying the word of God. Oh, a parable. Mm. Once there was a man who wanted to build a house next to the sea. Oh, it's lovely. He was a hard-working man, and he wanted his house to be strong and well-made. He started to look for the best place to build it. Since he was a wise man, he wanted to be sure the ground was firm. Hmm. I want to build a house by the sea, but I don't know if this ground will hold the weight of a house. 
seems too soft. And keep in mind, the high tide, it comes right in here, and sometimes there are storms. I think it's better to build far away from here, where the ground is more firm. Well, well, what's that? A firm and solid rock. That's it. I'll build my house on the rock. That's the best place for it. What? Huh? Na -na, na -na, na -na, na -na. Wow! What a beautiful view of the ocean. I think I'll build my house right here, where I can enjoy the summer breeze and the sound of the waves. Everything will be so easy. If I'm hungry, I'll just catch a fish. Cook it up and eat it right away. If I want to sunbathe, I'll just walk onto the beach. If I want to swim, I'll put on my shorts and... Na -na 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 jump in the water. Well, this sand is soft. It won't be hard to build here. Let's see. A piece of cake. Let's start. Um, excuse me. Huh? What is it? Well, um... I don't want to interrupt what you're doing, but I don't think it's a very good idea for you to build here on the sand. No? Why not? It could be dangerous. The sand is very soft, you see, and if a storm whips up or if the tide runs high, your house could be washed away. The sea is very close. And that's exactly why I want to build here. I want to fish out of my window and take a swim. But that's very dangerous. And with the ground so soft, your house might fall down. But that's just what I need. Soft ground for easy building. Do you understand? I don't want any complications. I understand. I understand. But can I suggest that you build your house on firm and solid ground? For example, on that rock. On that rock? You want me to build on that rock? Well, you could build on that rock or on another one, just so long as it's firm and far from the sea. No way. To build there, you'd have to be crazy. Do you know what it'd take to make a hole in that rock? Yes, I know. But I could lend you my pickaxe and make it easier for you. Forget it. There's no way I'm building up there. Imagine. Every time I wanted to go fishing, I'd have to climb all the way down the rock to get to the beach. And then climb all the way up again to get to my house. No, no, no. I'm building here, and that's it. Sir, I know it's none of my business, but I really wish you'd listen to me. I'm sure that you're going to regret it. Look. This has nothing to do with you. If you don't mind, just let me get on my work. I don't have all day. Hey, please listen to me. This man is driving me crazy. This man is driving me crazy. Hey, if you want to build on that rock, go ahead. But I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Got that? But, but it's just the... No buts. You go live on your rock, and I'll live here on my beach. Is that clear? OK, OK, I'm going. But don't say I didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't say a thing. Just leave me in peace. Who? What a stubborn man. I just hope I'm wrong and nothing bad happens to him. I just hope I'm not wrong and nothing bad happens to him. Bah! That guy was a real pain. I'm glad he's gone now. Bah! Well, I'll try to make up for lost time. My house will be ready in a flash. <laughs> It's so easy to build on soft sand. Some people just like to complicate things. I'm practical. I like things to be easy. Let's see. Hmm. One stone over here. So the man who built his house on the sand soon finished his work. His house looked very nice and the man felt proud as he looked out of his window. The other man had just begun building higher up on the rock. Look at him. He's really silly. Go on with that pickaxe. And he wanted me to do the same. If I had listened to him, I wouldn't be relaxing down here. I'd be working up there. 
How dumb. Hmm. I'm gonna have some fun with him. Hey, neighbor! What is it? I'm done! But you're not! <laughs> hey, neighbor! What do you want? Do you like to sweat? Well, I'm here looking at the ocean and relaxing, and in a little while I'm going for a swim and catch a fish. <laughs> Bye. I'm going fishing. A few days later, the man who had built on the rock finished his house too. And then the problem started for the man who'd built on the sand. Oh, looks like there's going to be a storm. I really love stormy nights on the beach. They're so exciting. Hey, hey, neighbor! What do you want? You must take care. A storm's coming. Duh, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> How silly. My, look at the pretty waves. Spectacular. I'm so lucky to have a house here. I can watch the beautiful waves from real close up. This is great. Whoa, what, what's this? Hey, what's going on? Hey, my house is moving. Hey, hey, you, stop it. I told you, don't move my house. No, 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 go away, stop, stop, stop. Don't do that. Oh, oh no, my house is moving. Help me. Oh, no. No, help. I'm being washed away. Help. While the storm washed away the house of the foolish man who built on the sand, the house built on the rocks stood against the wind, the waves and the rain, firm and secure. And that was the sad ending for the house of the man who wanted to build without God. Oh, what a shame. Did you like it, Tim? Tim? Tim, didn't you like the parable? Um, yes. If somebody is selfish, are they doing what God doesn't like? That's right, Timothy. God doesn't want us to be selfish. Oh, and if you tell lies too? Yes, uh, why? Well, nothing. Timothy, I think you're feeling sad. You need to do something fun, like open the music box. Oh, yay, 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 oh, yay. Yeah, oh, yeah, look, yeah, at that, look at that, look at the music box. box. Look, look, oh, oh wow, yeah. what is it, what is it, oh, wow. Oh. oh. Look. It's great. What wonderful colours. See the little house? The house in the water. On the rock. There's a man in the water. A foolish man built his house On a beach next to the sea Storms he heaved and hauled Raising up the walls On the soft white sand Very soon the house to tall The rain poured down and the storm came Bringing the wind and mighty waves The water swept in Covering everything And the man's house crumbled Washed away by the sea If we choose to build our lives without God Our little houses will surely fall Safe and secure is Jesus the rock Whose perfect love has delivered us all If we choose to build our lives without God Our little houses will surely fall Safe and secure is Jesus the rock 
Whose perfect love has delivered us all The wise man built his little house Up on a rock that stood nearby The wise man prayed As the bricks were laid He put into action All the plans the Lord had made The rain poured down The strong winds came The thunder raged It rolled the waves Such a mighty force Never seen before On the rock of Jesus The house stood firm against the storm If we choose to build our lives without God Our little houses will surely fall Safe and secure is Jesus the rock Whose perfect love has delivered us all If we choose to build our lives without God Our little houses will surely fall Safe and secure is Jesus the rock Whose perfect love has delivered us all If we choose to build our lives without God Our little houses will surely fall So good. Yay. Did you like it, Renata? Yes, very much. I thought much. it was great. I liked it. And you, Tim, great. did the song speak to you? Did you learn something? Yes, you have to build your house on a big, tall rock, and you need a little car, so it's easy to drive up and down it. Those wheels are mine. I found them. There's no reason why I should give them to anyone. Timothy, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Because I built my house without God and I messed up. He had, he had wheels. wheels. Yes, I had four wheels, but now I only had these two. <laughs> Poor Tim. And now what will you do with the wheels? I'll do what God wants me to do. I'll, I'll give them to you. <gasps> to me? Oh, thank you, Tim. Great, Tim. But don't be sad. You have no idea what a great present you just gave yourself. To myself? Yes, because those wheels are for... Your birthday <gasps> present. That car is for me? <sighs> it's for you. It's for you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yay, yay. Yay. Happy birthday. Yay. Oh, it's true. What can we do now? <gasps> Rodolfo, <gasps> long time no see. <laughs> What's that in your beak? Our oh, wheels. I saw them fall into the sea, so I dived in and found them. Do you need them? They're just what we need. Oh, There's someone who needs them very much. Yay! 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 But in the end, you did what God wanted and everything turned out great. Yes, thank goodness. Thank you, everybody, for helping me do what God wanted. Now I know that if I trust in God, everything will be fine. That's true. There once was a saint who was also a king. A saint? And which saint was that? Saint Louis the king. This king built his kingdom on the rock of Christ. A king? Saint Louis reigned in France during difficult times, he decided to rule his kingdom according to the teachings of Jesus. He married Marguerite, who loved God as much as he did. They were very happy, and God blessed them with 11 children. He spent a lot of time praying and studying instead of hunting and gambling like the others. 
At that time, the country was divided into small estates, and the feudal lords were very unfair and oppressed their servants. St. Louis did not tolerate this and had to struggle against them to put a stop to the abuses against the poor and abandoned. He won the war and was merciful to the defeated rebels. Obeying God's word, he built universities, libraries and hospitals. He gave alms to the poor, visited the sick, invited the hungry to eat at his table and built many churches. He wanted his people to believe in God. During the reign of this holy king, France enjoyed 40 years of peace, while in neighboring countries, kings and nobles fought bitter wars against each other. Oh. 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 You see, this king built his kingdom on the firm rock of Jesus, and France became a cultured country full of values. Oh. Oh. I wish all leaders were like Sadly, that. Sadly, some yes. leaders build their kingdoms on sand. Oh. 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 I'm going to build the kingdom of my life on the rock of Christ. Long live King oh. Tim. Yay. Hooray! Long, Long live King, King Tim! Tim. Yay. Yay! A foolish man built his house on a beach next to the sea. Stones he heaved and hauled. storm came, bringing the wind and mighty waves. The water swept in, covering everything. And the man's house crumbled, washed away by the sea. If we choose to build our lives without God, our little houses can surely fall. They can see cool is Jesus the rock Whose perfect love has delivered us all If we choose to build our lives with our God Our little houses will surely fall Say can secure is Jesus the rock Whose perfect love has delivered us all stood nearby The wise man prayed As the bricks were laid He put into action All the plans the Lord had made The rain poured down The strong winds came The thunder raged In rode the waves Such a mighty force Jesus, the house stood firm against the storm. If we choose to build our lives without God, 